when they act like they don't, uh, that there is no penetration going on in their relationship, usually they're lying. Usually they're, they're, they're not telling the truth. Right. There's some, there's some who don't like phallic pe penetration, but fingers and, and you know, rubbing and touching and stuff like that, all that kind of stuff, that friction. They live for all that kind of oh my God. <laughs> that friction and stuff. They live for that kind of stuff. So it's like you kind of like learn how to you learn how to do it. It's and it's not even long. like I picked it up quick and I was like, oh, I'm wear her out. <laughs> but yeah, it's like you you kind of pick it up quickly. Like it's like hmm, especially with somebody that you're into because usually those relationships. If I'm in, if I'm dating if I'm dating a um, a stud or I'm dating a, a, a FTM, I'm usually like stupid into them. So you find ways. Whatever happens, whatever kind of chemical thing that takes place, I end up knowing what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what goes on. I just knew that this is what I'm supposed to do. So it kind of happens like I guess like when you're having sex with a guy that you're into. And you just start discovering this is something he likes. This specific thing. I get that, that you like. but I understand that. Like mm -hmm. I know that I, if I jump dive right in it, I'm gonna figure it out. Mm -hmm. But and which is what you have to do. I it's just dog right is. is going there. And, for and, me, the problem going there with a, for me to see here. I tried it, not tried it like physically try to have sex, but tried to open up to the op, the possibility of a woman. And when 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 it came down to it, I just looked at her and saw a woman, and I'm like, and see, I that's just, what I you I, when you take your clothes off, sweetie, I'm seeing tits, I'm seeing a waistline, I'm seeing ass, I'm seeing thick thighs, I'm seeing all this stuff that is not you know stuff that I'm attracted to. I'm attracted to hard booties and wide backs and this image of a man and I know what a man looks like and feels like but when you get naked yeah maybe when you got your baggy clothes on and your sports bra and all that stuff I see the um I see the masculine cuteness I, in I think it's because it's I not don't. just sex like I'm gonna and say that's what like, I heard about lesbian relationships it's, it's not, not about just sex. it's not about sex and see for me and I don't know maybe because I'm a natural born male mm -hmm. I have sex is a part of my relationship Oh well, I'm a natural born male too. <laughs> I can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm a transsexual, but you but, know, that the origin of my nature is, you know, that, and I can't take that away. It's so. But it's so. It's so like, I don't know. Whatever happens, it's like you look past the, because like, I know that, I know that per se, I'm not attracted to a woman. Like I'm not, I know that I'm not attracted to a feminine woman. I'm not tra attracted to her. But if it's like a feminine boy, or like even when studs do that little gay feminine thing, I'm attracted to that for whatever reason that is. But but the and when whatever happens during sex, or when sex is about to take place, I see past boobs, or I see and I don't see past them in the point of me not responding to them but for them turning me off I don't see it like it's like I this didn't turn me off at all because I'm like completely into them so I'm going with it you know what I'm saying if I'm into like in I must say like with with but we've said on many occasions that men and women and human beings are visual people mm -hmm. so if we're visual but it does I don't know what I that is that turn I don't know it doesn't turn me off like it doesn't say Ugh. Or what am I doing, or nothing like that? I think that happened in the beginning when I had sex with with Sion, but after I did it, and we kept doing it, it was like I never, I, I. But also too, the thing about the thing that and it it didn't piss it didn't piss me off at first, but then I was like, okay, now this is stupid. I don't know, maybe girl, maybe I am a lesbian. I don't know, but like I told her like when we first started like with Nick when we first started having when we first decided to have sex um I was scared about it didn't want to do it was like girl mm. 
boy, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. There's too much going on. I'm scared I'm going to hurt it. Because Nick is a very voluptuous woman. <laughs> Nick is not voluptuous. <laughs> From what I thought, she's I see. She's skinny and muscular. Oh, I didn't see that. She just got a big leg and stuff, but she's skinny. Who? Who? You're thinking what? of Diane. I'm thinking of Nick, the one that used to date Dominique. That's Diane. That's not Nick. Oh, okay. I thought her name was I never Nick. would do nothing with that thing. Who are you talking about? Who Nick is, is the Nick? dark skin one with the low fat. Nick Nick. With the low fat. Nick Nick. Uh, I don't know. Ugh, that's big. Ugh. Big. Gross. Big. I would never do nothing with her. Oh, that's who I thought y'all were talking about. That's oh, so crazy. She's, no. she's, <laughs> I thought this was before all that. Oh no, never. I would never would do nothing with that. Oh, okay. Oh, gross. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you. T um, we cleared that up. Nick Nick is the dark skinned one with the low fade, muscular. Oh. I have to show you a picture in a minute. Nick Nick is fine. Um, did she used to, did she used to hang out with Karen and um Yes, yes, Nick Nick. My dark, dark, dark skin. skin. Oh, oh my boy, my love. Okay. Anyway, I was in love with that thing. Anyway <laughs> So she got rude and late. However, um however, um once oh, we Nick just think was trying to bone me. Duh. Oh my god, I feel so violated. Because <laughs> <laughs> wow. that's how Nick Nick dates. That's wow. how I make it this transaction. Alright. Well, basically, I can't really, I can't really relate to that. It's hard for me to get there. But yeah. But I dream about eating pussy. And you keep bringing that up, so I know it's the truth. <laughs> Which right. is not, my not thing recently. Is, now, I haven't done it recently, but I've had a couple of dreams about eating pussy because I remember on um, Real Sex, I was watching you know the cat house one of the cat house series and they were talking about they were teaching guys how to eat pussy and her reaction to him eating her was really really turning me on because I like reactions out of men mm -hmm. you can say I like reactions so if I can get that reaction out of somebody I know that it can make me aroused enough to get into it well but it will have to be a film girl for some reason it can't be a masculine girl I have a I have a weird thing about does that it's like when they like I see him and I'm like oh he's so cute but when they approach me I'm like I lay for him I don't know what to do I don't know what to do and like when we're out like we go to the funny thing is another thing we have we we choose to go to lesbian bar because it's more fun there then we choose to go to the atypical gay bar or whatever. Well, or I really like do. it because the type of music is great. And I like visual, visually, I like the way women look. Visually. Mm -hmm. It doesn't turn me on, but I like them to to see the example of that's a bad bitch. I like to see that. I like to see the, um, the studs who look like boys and who are sexy and who have a sex appeal about them mm -hmm. and I like to be at a club where I don't ha where I can let my guard down and That'd I don't have cool. to worry about guys you know reaching yeah. under my skirt yeah, and exactly. Ooh. <laughs> 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 reaching under my skirt and doing stuff that's inappropriate and really having to stay on your guard about that not getting clocked when you're at a lesbian club you're not worried about none of that you're just there to have fun and see the visual stimulation that you see exactly but I like it because um, she's, she's trained. <laughs> she's seeing potential pieces. Okay, what and they always wear me out. Every time we go out, somebody. But my thing is with only thing I find that is weird is that um, how so many uh, how so many lesbians are readily accepting transsexuals. Like it, when I tell them that I'm a transsexual, it's like first they go. Hmm. But what's your number then so I can make sure I come see you or come talk to you? Da, da, da. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I still find it, I still find it um, fascinating how quickly they accept it. Um, but, I, but I think, but I also admire it as well. First of all, I have to admire because I enjoy talking to them or dealing with them in that way. But um, it's like, oh, okay. Well, Thanks. what about, what about, um, what about Butch Queen relationships? Now, the reason what? why. I, I I I could play the only reason why I could play with a butch queen is because it's a male, it's a it guy. is a male, it's a dick. It's a dick guy. And I feel like the whole down low, I wanna be in the closet and I wanna be, you know, 
probably was gonna tell my parents and you know the whole download male thing is alleviated if you're dating a gay male. 